Hi guys, we're Bobby 46 here, we're giving back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode with our Red Bull KTM. We had some struggles at, uh, at Qatar, so um, yeah, we've got some upgrades happening on the bike at the moment. In fact, frame has just finished, and we've got enough to do the next stage of the frame, so we'll do that. Get some people on board, and then uh, we can obviously go to circuit the americas which is the next round and see how we get on there it's probably not going to be great it's got a uh, you know a long back straight on that track so i don't know but um i guess the only good thing is that the front end isn't too bad so i'm hoping into the tight hairpins the uh, the ktm will be okay but we'll have to wait and see and uh yeah we could do with some more points but i think it's going to be a while until you know, especially when, when we've got the first engine upgrade, I think we might see a bit of an improvement in the performance. But until then, I think we're going to be struggling to get inside the top 10. But we'll wait and see what happens. And then we shall, uh, we'll, we'll hopefully keep improving. Right. I think that's that. So um, can we do anything else? Get some electronics people on the go. Um, actually, they're working on the engine, so we'll leave that for now. Right, so at the Americas, let's see how we go. Hopefully, okay. Again, we'll take part in FP2 this time. So qualifying did not go well. It was better than first race. Um, we managed to qualify in 13th position. So better than what it was at Qatar, but still not great. Um, but yeah, FP2 definitely is easier than FP3. The only trouble you have is that you don't get to see the FP3 times because obviously they haven't happened. So despite being, you know, inside uh, the top 10 in FP2, because they go quicker in FP3, you know, you just miss out on, uh, on Q2. So uh, up to turn one. Oh, there's bikes everywhere. Nakagami is through. We've dropped loads of places. We're down to 16th, but we're back up to 14th now. Oh, we've got Bang Yaya trying to go the long way around. Oh, nearly into the back of Nakagami there. We'll pass him around the outside of Alicia Spargo, but that's put me up the inside. So we're back up to 12th position. One place higher. Sorry, Petrucci. On, well, two places higher than what we qualified, so uh, we're nearly inside the top ten already. That is Alicia Spargo down, and we've got better run than Miller here. So we are through into tenth position behind Joanne Mir, who was uh, annoying me in the first race. We're, in, we're inside the top ten. We are inside the top ten. Oh, that's Miller down. We've got Mir as well. Now onto the straight, just behind Franco Morbidelli, trying to slip string. We might be able to get past. No, oh, the KTM struggling to get past the Yamaha, just about getting past in the end. Okay, down to turn 12 again. We uh, managed to get that fine. Mir is down now. Tell you what, we're with Dovi now. Switch to the inside. There's Cal Crutchlow, the dangerous Cal Crutchlow. Took me out here last season through this next corner. And Dovi went for it as well. But luckily we gave him a, enough room and just sat up a little bit. Well, this has been a much, much better start with the KTM around here than what it was at Qatar. Eighth position, I tell you what, that's that's a big improvement on the first race already, and we're not even done yet. And there's only five laps around here, and we're coming to the end of the first lap. I'm not going to get Dovey into the final lap. But I think that frame upgrade has made a difference already. Even though it's just one upgrade, it's uh, it's made a difference, and uh, we are a bit more competitive. I think we're still a long way away from the podium, but you know, we're we're getting there. We're improving, which is the is the main thing. If I was still way down in like 14th place, I uh, would not be very happy. But. You know, we're just about holding on to Dovey. 
So we'll see if we can go with them, but you know when we get to the straight we might struggle. So you good tell you what, we're good through turn nine. We're very good through turn nine, trying to get up the inside of Dovey, but not quite working there. So uh, unfortunately we've got them on the brakes though. We've got them on the brakes. Have we got the bike stopped? Yes we have. Dovey's gone wide. Seventh place back, right. Can we do anything about the Honda of Cal Crutchlow? We have to put power mapping up to two for the straight, otherwise we're really going to struggle. But yeah, hooking up a bit of slipstream, not really doing a hell of a lot. But we're closing on the brakes. Can we go around the outside? No, we won't. I was, waiting for it to I was expecting Cal to tip in a little bit earlier than he did. Right, Cal. Shall I repay you the favour to what you paid me last season? Well, we're past anyway. I don't think if that was a wise thing or not. Oh, he went into the back of me. I took a tighter line that time so he couldn't come up the inside. But he still hit me. But we stayed on. That's the main thing. Sixth position. We could maybe... We might be able to get fourth place here. I mean, Marquez is long gone. Second and third are together. Then there's a gap back to Rossi and uh, Rins and we're pretty much with them Marquez 204.0 me at 204.8 so yeah miles miles slower than Marquez at the moment Ica Laquone is in 10th so the KTM seem to be having a, a bit of a better time around here Dovey's got past Crutchlow now can't quite get on the back of Rins yet we've got Two and three quarter laps to go. Oh, ah, oh, penalty. Bugger. I mean, we have really caught up to Rins now, though. I'm going to try again through turn nine because we seem to be able to get a better exit. Slower through turn eight, but get the t turn, turn nine right. And look at that. We're almost past, but not quite. Side by side with Rins as we go down towards the hairpin, but we're in front now. We are into fifth, just behind Valentino Rossi. Try and slipstream as well. Power on two again. The KTM is faster than the Yamaha in real life. And past we go. That was more on the brakes. But a slipstream definitely helped that. Oh... Oh, oh dear, light damage. Light damage, that is not good. Now I'm concerned about the next couple of left-handers. The door's open. I'm going to go wide anyway, just to make sure he was there. He didn't come through. Fourth position, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Let's hope that we can... Uh, stay here. That would be a good result on the KTM considering how bad the first round was. That, that wasn't as good a lap as last lap either. That's a 205 but we were fighting with Rossi. But we're on the penultimate lap now. Podium is out of the question. That gap is too big. Way too big. In fact, they're just pulling away. Marquez is long gone in the lead as well. So we're not going to get top three. But a fourth place, you know, on a KTM, I'll take that. Considering, uh, you know, compared to the first race as well, it's almost as close as a win. But we, the most important thing is we have taken a step in the right direction just with that frame upgrade. But we still need to improve because we're still off the top, guys, which uh, obviously is not ideal. But we can keep getting upgrades, you know. Bit by bit, we will improve. Oh, Vinales is down! That sent me wide as well because I got a bit distracted, but we are into third place. Vinales, I don't know how the hell we managed to do that coming out of the, uh, the hairpin because he looked okay. And he just went down. I think he may have lost the, the rear a little bit there, but we're into third. Right. Let's see if we can maintain our third position and get this KTM on the podium. 
Was not expecting that. Of course, we got that 0.2 of a second penalty as well, so I'm a bit concerned about that because Rossi's not too far behind. What is the gap? 0.7, that's fine. Three and a half seconds to Quattararo, who is in second place. Right, we got one lap to try and hold on to third place. The thing is, Rossi's not even got to get past me, he's just got to get right with me and he'll get it. 2.039 from Marquez. Not even a 2.049 for me, so I was way off of Marquez's time again. That's another 2.052, so not good. But, at the moment, it's enough for third position. just need to try and keep that gap over point two. That's all we got to do. It's going to be a big, big win for Marquez. I mean, it's 4.3 from me to Quattararo. So I dread to think what the gap is from uh, Quattararo to Marquez. We're looking good gap-wise at the moment. We're just starting to pull away from Rossi a little bit more. Actually, Marquez isn't too far ahead of Quattro. It's still a big gap, but not as big as I thought it was going to be. Stay down, come on. Oh, Vinales is down again. Surely that's going to be a DNF for Vinales now. Oh, Alicia Spargo's down again. That's his second crash as well. I think we may have done enough. I mean, our lap time is still not great. But we've got 1.3 over Rossi. We're 4.2 behind Quattararo. we got two corners to go. Our second race with KTM. We're going to get on the podium. I know it was more of a gifted podium because Vinales crashed just ahead of me, but a podium nonetheless, a podium with KTM, that's more like it. We just need to uh, keep improving though, 7.7 .7 seconds we were behind Marquez though, so yeah, we are still way off the pace, but at least we're more competitive. I was very, very worried after the first race. We moved up seven places. <laughs> seven places because of that. Just behind Cal Crutchlow. Moved up three in the team championship. Still in fifth in the constructors championship though. Okay. Well, we get to see the podium celebration with KTM. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's still going to be a difficult season, but you know that's that's a bit more reassuring. We done good. We done a good job. Next we go to Termaster Rio Hondo. That'll be interesting. I don't know how many weeks are in between this and uh, Termas. I'm wondering if. Hopefully we'll have an en engine upgrade by the time we get to the next race, but probably not. Yeah, third position. Sweet. That's uh, made me a little bit more happy. In fact, a lot more happier than what I was at Qatar. Excellent. More of that, please. But I think this is going to be Marquez's season to win the title. I mean, he's got two wins already so far. The engine is done. The engine is ready. So we can... Oh, no, we haven't got enough. So uh, I have to put people in research. 
Get them all in there. Right, that's fine. Come on. Right, so engine will be ready. Advance a week. Actually, we should have enough to do the next en engine upgrade now. Yeah, we do. Why are the electronic guys still on the engine? We can change that. Anyway, get these guys on the engine. Right, I'm going to have to go and put them in research, I think, for the electronics. Why can't I move? Oh, there we go. It wouldn't let me select anything then. That was weird. Right, you guys can do research for electronics so that we can get power one sorted. Yeah, I think that's fine. Right then, round three, Termas de Rio Hondo. See how we get on six laps. Oh, it's going to be a wet race. I tell you what, I think I'm going to have to take part in morning warm up because otherwise we're not going to do any rain practice whatsoever. And we're going to need it. Okay, that is up to third position. So 36.7. Tell you what, the engine upgrade has made a difference as well. We got straight through to Q2. So very, very happy at the moment. Currently in third position in qualifying two. It's whether we can improve a little bit more. But yeah, the fact that we got straight through to Q2, oh, I was over the moon with that. Feels a little bit more comfortable around here. Okay, oh, the time's close at the moment. We're nearly two tenths off of the time at the moment, which is not bad going. Let's see what the next split says anyway. Oh, oh, nearly on the green, but we weren't. So it was still half oh, of 0.4 off, though. But if we can get a front row here, that'd be really good. Through the penultimate corner, we got one corner to go. Okay, still in third, but a better lap time, 36.5. We are starting down in ninth, so still not great, but we are still improving. It's better than the 13th. So here we go with the rain. I was competitive in the rain in free practice, so I'm hoping we'll be okay in the race. But we'll find out. It's time to go racing in the rain with our KTM around Termas de Rio Hondo. See what we can do. Here we go. We're looking for improvements. I don't know what the race is going to be like in the rain. Just keep it relatively tight through turn one. Down towards two. Up the inside of Vinales. Nope. The rear stepped out a bit. I got Petrucci on the inside. They all had rear end moments. Oliveira's down. Through the kink. Oh, we've got Quattararo. Dobby's looking over his shoulder, but we've got past him. Back in a fifth position, just behind Vinales and Cal Crutchlow. Past Vinales we go. On the brakes with Crutchlow as well. No, maybe not. They've gone wide. Oh, nearly got hit by Dobby there. We're in third. Now we're back down to fourth because Crutchlow has got me. Marquez out front. Rins in second. Crutchlow third, but not for long. As we go back up the inside. And he's gone wide now as well. So we are into third position. Another podium would be fantastic. 
But we're only on lap one. Oh, 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 the rear end stepping out there. Dovi is down. I think Dovi may have just lost the rear end there, but he is down on the ground. Polar Spar grows down as well. So we've had a few people crash on lap one. I think they're just starting to ease away a little bit. Yeah, 0.8 of a second. Crutchlow's not done with at the moment. But they are easing away, which is uh, not a good sign. But the good sign is we're in third place again at the moment. But it's whether we can stay here. I'll do what I can to try and hold on to third. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch those two out front. Point nine, now the gap's going up. Yeah, the KTM does feel a little bit quicker now. And then we've had that first upgrade. Looks like we've closed in maybe a little bit. And then again, maybe not. Point eight, yeah, it's come down a tenth of a second, so not much at all, really. Oh, hit the inside sausage. Crutchlow's fighting with Quattararo at the moment for fifth and sixth. Through turn nine. Oh, Rins has gone. Rins has gone. I almost went as well. The rear end stepped out. That is Rins down. That is second place. 1.3 to Marquez. So what? We are looking to improve. So we've gone from 14th to third and now to second place potentially in this race we're on the up Marquez 41.8 42.0 from me so I'm only about 0.2 of a second slower than Marquez so we are getting there we're getting closer we're making the KTM a bit more competitive we go to Hareth next. That will be an interesting race with the KTM. Onto the back straight we go. Marquez leads. One second lead at the moment. One second back to Vinales as well. Through turn five. The fact that I'm trying to catch Marquez is just making me ease away from Vinales at the moment, which is good. Tyres are looking fine. I don't think we're going to be able to catch Marquez, but if we can keep him in sight, that will be a moral victory, if anything. Oh, now he's gone! Marquez done exactly the same thing as Rins. Just high-sided himself. We are now leading. We are leading on the KTM in our third race. Of course it is raining, so it might be a bit different if it was dry. Ica Laquona's down. So, we are leading. Morbidelli fastest. Where's Morbidelli? Fifth place. Marquez is still in seventh, so he's still going to get some decent points. I tell you what, if we could win this race, that would be absolutely fantastic. And that would uh, help out a little bit more in the championship. But uh, I keep making little mistakes now, which is allowing the guys to catch back up. Yeah, 0.4 of a second back to Vinales, so that is not ideal. Turn five. I think our time in the lead might be a bit numbered at the moment. 0.6 of a second. So the AI 
seem to be having a bit of trouble with turn 9. Quattararo's moved up to 3rd. Now Crutchlow's got him back. I'm going to have to go careful through it. Just because I don't want the same fate as uh, Marquez and Rins. The gap's back up to a second. Could we really do this? Our third race with KTM. We've got two upgrades on the bike. One frame and one engine upgrade. Like I said, in the rain. Oh, that was nearly in the grass. In the rain, that's definitely helping us out. So I think we've got a bit of luck on our side at the moment. We we'll certainly have the last race when Vinales crashed out of third, which promoted me to third. And obviously we were in third in this race, and both Rins and Marquez crashed out of second and first. Point eight at the moment over Vinales. Come on, get it stopped. That's too hot, that's too hot. Didn't want to put the front brake on anymore, otherwise we would have been down the road. So we've got one and a half laps remaining. We've got 0.9 of a second lead. Is this going to be our first victory with KTM? So 14th in the first race third in the second race and a potential win on the cards at the moment for this race 1.3 the gap's going back up we might just do this we might just pull this one out of the bag One lap to go. This is it. We could do this. 1.1 is the gap over the line. Marquez still down in 7th place. Binder is just at the fastest lap. He's in ninth. So Brad Binder inside the top 10. One of my teammates. I know if Rins and Marquez were still in this race, I probably wouldn't have been able to catch them. They looked like they had slightly better pace. But, um, yeah. They were the ones that threw it down the road, not me. Point eight at the moment. Oh, is Vinales going for one last push? We just got to go careful through turn nine. I don't want to push it through there and end up crashing at the lead on the final lap. Come on, KTM. Let's do this. Let's get a win. It might be the only one we get this season. Because we don't know what it's going to be like at the next few tracks. We might struggle at Mugello just because of the long straight. But, you know, we're not as slow on the straights as we were at the beginning of the season. Or, I say beginning of the season, it still is the beginning of the season. But two races ago. We've got... Three corners to go. Don't lose the front. Don't lose the front. Don't lose the front. We're going to do it. We're going to win on the KTM in the rain at Termas de Rio Hondo. Look at that. What a victory. That was an important one as well. I mean, Marquez fastest lap of the race on the final lap. A 40.6. He gets seventh place. But look at all the DNFs. Both Ducatis. Oh, wow, we've moved up four more places. We're third in the championship. Only 16 points behind Marquez and only one point behind Quattararo's moved up to second. Moved up three places to third in the team championship, 15 points behind. And third in the constructors championship. We are third in everything at the moment. The rider championship, the team championship and the constructors championship. Wow. What a result. Yeah. Should be over the moon with that. He 
certainly needed that and it's definitely helped out with the championship i'm still kind of thinking the championship's not going to be possible this season but we've got a long way to go marquez was lucky he didn't lose you know a huge amount of places and that he managed to continue racing in this race I mean, he finished in seventh place which is not a complete disaster but it could have been a lot worse for him if he had ended up with a DNF or just outside the points anyway. But we've done it. We've won with the KTM. Wow. Let's hope that every single race from now on in is a wet race then. Because the KTM seems to work quite well in the wet. But only when others fall. We can't forget that. We took advantage of uh, other riders' misfortune, but luck was on our side. I mean, that was our best qualifying as well. So happy with that. Right then. We uh, advance the, uh, the weeks. We look at the standings. Let's look at Moto3. Championship leaders Barry Boltus at the moment with Arenas in second, Fujia in third. Then you got Alcoba in fourth and uh, Fanati in fifth. So that's uh, looking like that. Moto 2 is Baldazari leading from Dalla Porta in second, Schrotter in third, Luti fourth, and Fernandez in fifth place. Then Moto GP obviously is Marquez leading that from Quattararo in second, me in third, Rins in fourth. And Crutchlow in fifth. So that is the championships at the moment after round three. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Just see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.